Please rise. With the whole Christian church on earth, we confess our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. We turn and share words of peace with those worshiping with us today. be seated as we center ourselves in a time of offering. Please rise. We pray, merciful God, our ordinary gifts seem small for such a celebration, but you make of them an abundance, just as you do with our lives. Feed us again in service in your name. In the strength of the risen Christ, amen. Uplifted by the promise of hope and healing and resurrection, we join our voices with the people of God in all times and in all places, praying for those who are in need. God of hope, we thank you for your church on earth as people around the globe proclaim the hope and life through your risen Son. Give church leaders of all denominations wisdom and passion to meet those in their communities with the love of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of hope, bless the leaders of our nation and of all nations 
with wisdom to lead people through these difficult days of illness and pandemic, of economic struggle, and of fear. Calm our hearts and minds that we may embrace life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of hope, open our hearts to the cries of those in pain. We pray for those isolated physically or emotionally through the current pandemic, as well as those who are isolated by incarceration, addiction, mental illness, poverty, chronic suffering, grief, and all those who are estranged from others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of hope in the midst and the pursuit of peace throughout the world, bless the efforts of missionaries, healthcare professionals, of first responders, activists for women and children, and relief workers, especially those who find themselves in harm's way. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of hope, strengthen and keep safe funeral home workers as they work with the public to meet people in their grief. And remember the families of those who have died in faith, especially today we lift up the family of Gerald Harzma. Free us from the fear of death and make your presence known in our lives that we may embrace the peace you have promised. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. With bold confidence in your love, Almighty God, we place all for whom we pray into your eternal care through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for just a few more announcements before we conclude our worship. We want to thank you again for being with us in worship here at Eastside Lutheran, no matter where you may find yourself today. Before we go off into the busyness of our own lives, again, a couple of things to lift up. Here at Eastside, our confirmation classes will resume this week on Wednesday evening at their regularly scheduled time. We will be meeting via Zoom as we kind of get together from various places. More information will be coming out on that as we're nearing the end of our education year for confirmation. Also, we want to hold in our prayers and send our sympathies out to Vicki Jelzma on the passing of her father, Gerald Harzma, earlier this week. Please include her and all those who are grieving during these difficult days as a part of your daily prayers. And then also a request picking up on something that Wayne lifted up just moments ago in his temple talk. We are still in need of some volunteers who would be willing to pick up the phone and reach out to some of our members to check in, to see how they are doing, and to just let them know that they are thought of and cared for. If you would like to participate in doing that, we have some easy instructions for you. Simply contact the church office and we will provide you with everything you need that we might continue to connect with one another even while we are apart. Those are my announcements. As we ready to close our service, we do so with these words of promise and of blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and fill your hearts with peace. Christ is risen just as he said. Go in peace. Share the good news. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. And we go out singing our sending hymn, 
number 391, this joyful Easter tide. <laughs> 